hi everyone and hi all my followers in this video i'm going to analyze csir chemical sciences problem just observe the given problem the structure of the compound that matches the hnmr data given below is so here we have given with hnmr data in uh, the in the solvent dimethyl sulfoxide so here we have given with d6 means six hydrogens of uh, dimethyl sulfoxide substituted with six deuterium okay right now we need to check the given uh, spectral data here the chemical shift value is given as 7.75 delta with double doublet j is equal to that is coupling constant equals to 8.8 2.4 hs one hydrogen next one 7.50 doublet j equals to 2.4 hs one hydrogen next uh, 6.70 doublet j equals to 8.8 hs one hydrogen 6.50 broad singlet two hydrogen 3.80 singlet three hydrogen okay this is the given uh, spectral data of uh, hnmr now we need to find the correct uh, suitable organic compound by by using by just using the given hnmr spectral data okay so right here first we need to pick the important or the easiest uh, spectral values from which we can identify the functional groups or some parts of the particular organic compound easily okay right if you look at uh, the value 3.80 to 3.90 with singlet three hydrogens almost 99 percent that indicates the presence of methoxy group in an unknown organic compound okay so this is the easiest to pick up so presence of methoxy group in an organic compound now if you look at 6.50 broad singlet with the two hydrogens yeah here we need to check for the presence of two hydrogens on one particular atom okay right if you look at the presence uh, the presence of two hydrogens on one single atom with no adjacent nmr active nuclei simply nh2 just observe here nh2 in all the cases right so it is having nitrogen is having two hydrogens and adjacent carbon doesn't having any nmr active nuclei that is simply here hydrogen so that's why it is giving broad singlet two hydrogens with 6.50 okay delta value so here it is indicating that the presence of uh, amine primary amine nh2 in an in an unknown organic compound okay right now we need to look for another another delta values like um, 7.75 and 7.58 and 6.70 it is simply indicating that the presence of benzene ring okay so the presence of benzene ring is uh, uh, indicated by the uh, del chemical shift values uh, like 7.75 7.58 okay right so here now we need to look at for the double doublet that is here with 7.75 chemical shift value double doublet is present okay right how double doublet is possible on the benzene ring now we can see right consider this as a and uh, that means the carbon which contain nmr active proton that is hydrogen and consider it as a and uh, this proton or hydrogen on that carbon as b and this as carbon uh, that means uh, nmr active hydrogen c okay we have labeled three hydrogens as a b c okay right now for example if you look at b okay and uh, it is simply affected by the uh, the nmr active hydrogen which is r2 it that is a okay hydrogen a which is labeled as a okay that's why the signal of the hydrogen b simply splits into doublet with respect to ortho hydrogen that is from ha okay so just listen carefully now if you observe the b that means hydrogen b which is in meta position to that hydrogen c okay so which is simply uh, separating with no2 right now the meta effect also possible on the benzene rings okay we see the adjacent effects okay that means the two adjacent nmr active nuclei effects on each other 
and they produce doublets here but meta effect also possible so now here if you look at the c so it affects the uh, splitting of b that's why a b signal or simply here splits into two or simply it is doublet with respect to meta hydrogen okay meta hydrogen now if you look at b it is having uh, two effects one is ortho effect and one is meta effect so two effects are there on it that's why it is showing double doublet okay so the first doublet splits into again two doublets and the next uh, next peak of it splits into another doublet so that is double doublet is present on that particular b okay so we need to write uh, 7.75 delta values for the proton or hydrogen which is labeled as b okay where coupling constant is 8.8 .8. now if you look at a here so a is simply affecting with the b hydrogen or h number active hydrogen that's why a is also exhibiting doublet okay due to the ortho effect of b or ortho effect of uh, h number active nuclei that is hydrogen okay right now if you look and uh, if you look at c here the hydrogen which is labeled as c uh, it, which which is having meta effect with the hydrogen b okay so that's why the hydrogen c which is labeled as c also exhibiting doublet okay right and just remember the meta doublets or the meta uh, nuclei uh, hnmr active nuclei have chemical shift values nearly uh, 2 to 5 okay so that's why just observe uh, 2 to 3 or 2 to 5 so that that's why here simply 7.58 doublet j is equal to uh, 2.4 hs must be here on this uh, hydrogen okay next uh, the other one 6.70 doublet j is equal to 8.8 .8 hs must be for this hydrogen a okay so this is the spectral data uh, we can uh, given on the particular compound but here is a question if you look at these three options they are ha they are having suitable kind of uh, hnmr values on it but the, if you look at the third option where uh, double doublet is not possible because it is simply having uh, uh, here uh, multiple activities or present on that particular hydrogen for example if you take this hydrogen which is having two ortho uh, hydrogens on it okay so the simple double doublet is not possible more than one doublet we can observe here okay so due to the effect of an ortho effect and one is meta effect at the same time for these two hydrogens so that's why we can simply eliminate option three from the uh, given uh, from the options as an answer now if you look at these three they are having the suitable of uh, suitable forms of uh, hnmr data on them just observe here the first compound is also having two ortho hydrogens one meta hydrogen so which has suitable for the given hnmr data and if you look at the second one here also we have two hydrogens and uh, that means which are other to each other one hydrogen is meta now if you look at this fourth one two hydrogens are other to each other and one hydrogen is uh, simply it is in meta position that means these three are in competition which is the answer okay right here we need to check the basic knowledge on substrates on benzene ring okay right for example if we look at the substrates on the benzene rings we have uh, ns2 methaxy group and no2 group on uh, all these uh, examples or suitable compounds here that's why if you look at all of them nh2 group is ring activating group by donating its electrons to the ring that's why it activates benzene ring at the same time methaxy group is also activating group that means ring activating group by donating its electrons from uh, that uh, from that oxygen of the methaxy group whereas no2 group is a strong deactivating group ring deactivating group because uh, it can uh, uh, take electrons from the ring that's why it deactivate the benzene ring okay right for example if the presence of two uh, substrates already on the benzene ring the third substrates must be uh, must be substituted on the benzene ring 
with respect to strong substituent now if you look at the presence of two ring activating group that is nh2 and methoxy group on the benzene ring okay then the next group the next group which is going to substitute on the benzene ring must be with respect to strong group okay must be placed on the benzene ring with respect to strong group here nh2 is more strong ring activating than methoxy group why just observe here okay nh2 is having lone pair of electrons in it at the same time oxygen of methoxy group having lone pair of electrons in it and uh, if you look at nitrogen and oxygen nitrogen can donate its lone pair of electrons easily to the ring when we compare to oxygen of methoxy group because the electron activity difference between oxygen and nitrogen that's why we can compare that nh2 group is more strong ring activating than methoxy group now with respect to this strong methax uh, nh2 group the incoming uh, electrophile that is here no2 must be placed on the benzene ring it should be placed ortho to the nh2 group or it must be para to the nh2 group only right so that's why here para to it that's why here option 2 is the correct one okay but why not the first one okay if you look at the first one here if we check these two groups ring activating groups nitrogen is placed ortho to the methoxy group so as we said the third group must be uh, substituted on the benzene ring with respect to strong group so here strong activating group is nh2 that's no2 must be ortho to nh2 group or para to nh2 group so here the nh2 group must not be ortho to the methoxy group it should be ortho to the nh2 group so that's why we can eliminate one option one and if you look at the fourth option here uh, fourth option uh, if you look at it nh2 group so strong uh, activating group ring activating group why not this ester group so if you look at this the lone pair of electrons on oxygen may go on to that uh, carbonyl carbon okay so the conjugation is possible at the same time the uh, some of the uh, lone pair of electrons on oxygen may go on to the ring to activate the ring that means the lone pair of electrons on oxygen simply uh, partially divided that means they may go on to the carbonyl carbon uh, carbonyl carbon or they may go on to ring to activate the ring that's why here nh2 group is more stronger ring activating group than this okay so that's why if you look at the according to nh2 group strong ring activating group on the benzene ring the no2 group must be ortho to it or para to it but here we have no2 group simply ortho to the, the particular uh, uh, less or uh, less ring activating group that's why fourth option is also wrong one okay so all from all this analysis we can simply say the second one is the correct one okay right if you are interested just visit chemmasters.online and or download mobile app chemmasters from google play store and join the course on csir gate jam okay so to get the success by just listening the best uh, uh, concept lectures and previous years all problems and also you can get uh, assignments standard questions as assignments okay just play on mobile and uh, get your dream exam thank you